Before starting treatment with alemtuzumab, make sure to read the medication guide, patient safety information card, and patient information leaflet provided by your pharmacist. It's important to carry the patient safety information card with you at all times. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask your doctor or pharmacist. This medication is administered by injection into a vein over a period of at least 4 hours by a healthcare professional. There are usually two treatment courses, the first course is given daily for 5 days, and the second course is given daily for 3 days. These courses should be separated by 12 months. If necessary, additional 3-day treatment courses may be given, but they should be separated by at least 12 months from the previous treatment. Before receiving this medication, your doctor will instruct you to take other medications, such as acetaminophen, diphenhydramine, corticosteroids, to help prevent side effects. Your doctor may also prescribe other medications, such as antiviral medications, to help prevent infection in your body. It's important to use these additional medications exactly as prescribed by your doctor. To lower your risk for serious side effects, your doctor will monitor you for at least two hours after each injection. During or after taking alemtuzumab solution, you may experience symptoms like headache, fever, chills, flushing, rash, itching, nausea, vomiting, shortness of breath, tiredness or dizziness. If you have any of these effects, contact your doctor or pharmacist immediately. They may prescribe additional medications to help manage these symptoms. Other possible side effects include diarrhea, stomach pain, cough, trouble sleeping, or mouth sores. If any of these effects persist or worsen, let your doctor know right away. Although there are serious side effects associated with this medication, your doctor has prescribed it because they believe the benefits outweigh the risks. Your doctor will monitor you carefully to minimize your risk. Contact your doctor immediately if you experience serious side effects such as changes in mood, muscle or bone pain, signs of thyroid or liver disease, or symptoms of a rare but serious brain infection. Seek medical help right away for very serious side effects such as fainting or chest pain. If you have signs of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek medical help immediately. This is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice any other effects, contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you are in the US, you can report side effects to the FDA, and if you are in Canada, you can report them to Health Canada. Before starting alemtuzumab, it's important to discuss any allergies you have with your doctor or pharmacist. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions. It's also important to share your medical history, especially if you have any immune system problems, recent infections, bleeding or blood problems, high blood pressure, cancer, kidney or heart problems, thyroid issues, or if you've had recent surgery. Alemtuzumab can make you dizzy and alcohol or marijuana can intensify this effect. It's important to avoid driving, using machinery, or any activities that require alertness until you know how this medication affects you. It's also important to limit alcoholic beverages and consult your doctor if you're using marijuana. Before undergoing any surgery or dental procedures, make sure to inform your doctor about all the medications and products you use. It's important to also let your doctor know if you're receiving a blood transfusion. Additionally, discuss your vaccine history with your doctor and ask if any vaccines are needed before starting treatment with this medication. It's best to avoid contact with individuals who have recently received live vaccines, such as the flu vaccine inhaled through the nose. To lower the risk of infections, it's important to wash your hands thoroughly. Alemtuzumab also increases the risk of a serious infection caused by Listeria bacteria. It's best to avoid certain foods, such as deli meat, unpasteurized milk and cheese, soft cheeses, and undercooked meat, seafood, and poultry. If consuming these foods, ensure they are heated well. It's also important to use caution with sharp objects and avoid contact sports to lower the risk of getting cut, bruised, or injured. If you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant, it's important to discuss this with your doctor, as alemtuzumab may harm an unborn baby. You should not become pregnant while using this medication. It's important for your doctor to order a pregnancy test before starting this medication, and to discuss reliable forms of birth control while using this medication and for 4 months after the last dose. If you become pregnant, it's important to talk to your doctor right away about the risks and benefits of this medication.
It's unknown if this drug passes into breast milk, so it's not recommended to breastfeed during treatment and for at least 4 months after stopping treatment. Consult your doctor before breastfeeding. When taking alemtuzumab solution, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that can affect how the medication works or increase the risk of serious side effects. It's essential to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. This will help them determine if there are any potential interactions and make sure you are taking the medication safely. Some products that may interact with alemtuzumab solution are other drugs that weaken the immune system or increase the risk of infection, such as natalizumab and rituximab. Always consult your doctor before starting, stopping, or changing the dosage of any medicines. If someone has taken too much alemtuzumab solution and experiences severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek medical help immediately. In the U.S., you can call 911 or your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. For Canadian residents, you can call a provincial poison control center. It's important to act quickly in case of an overdose. Before starting treatment with alemtuzumab solution, it is important to undergo various medical tests such as complete blood count, EKG, kidney-slash-liver-slash-thyroid function, skin exams, tuberculosis testing, and urine tests. These tests should also be conducted while you are receiving the medication and for some time after the treatment is completed. It's essential to keep all the medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details on the specific tests needed. Make sure to take each dose of alemtuzumab solution as prescribed by your doctor. If you happen to miss a dose, be sure to consult with your doctor or pharmacist to arrange a new dosing schedule. This medication is typically given as an infusion in a hospital or clinic setting. It is not meant to be stored or administered at home. This medication is used to treat certain types of cancer and autoimmune conditions. The dosage and frequency of administration will be determined by your healthcare provider based on your specific condition and medical history. It is important to follow their instructions carefully. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the U.S., you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.